Hey everyone, welcome to Evolution Tesla, your source for the latest features, updates, and self-driving technology in the world of Tesla. If you're a Tesla fan, or just interested in the latest consumer self-driving tech, welcome to the show. In this episode, we'll be bringing you our full in-depth review and testing of the updated version of Autopilot in software version 9. In our previous video, we covered some of the new features and capabilities of the updated version of Autopilot. So now let's hop in the car and give it a full range of tests from highway driving, tricky back roads, to edge cases like ending lanes and roundabouts. We found some unexpected surprises, some nice improvements, and even a few slightly scary moments where we pushed it past its limits. Let's go for a drive and check it out. The first autopilot test route is the gauntlet. It has a number of tricky elements, including narrow lanes with no shoulders, tight turns, blind corners on hills, and more. It really puts autopilot's lane keeping abilities to the test. Let's give it a test with autopilot and software version 8.1. Okay, we're just making our way for our first test on the gauntlet. It's got some tricky turns, some pretty sharp turns. Lots of hills. Should be a good test of the uh, autopilot system. Okay, gonna set autopilot here. Gonna set it down to 60. And normally you wouldn't have your hands off the wheel, but for the purposes of this test, I'll keep them off just to show that autopilot's doing its thing. This part's pretty narrow, so it's a little, uh, a little hairy, but uh, Autopilot's doing a pretty good job. Let's see how it handles this sharp turn here. It's pretty good. It's getting a little bit on the outside there. Slowing down to only 42 kilometers. There's another tight one here. Uh, it's a little on the outside, but I think we may have kept it in the lines. All in all, not too bad there. Now it's picking up speed back up to 60. Here's a blind hill with another turn. Handled that pretty well. A little S curve with a hill here. We did a pretty good job. And this is with uh, Autopilot version 8.1, the latest build. All right, let's turn it around and try it the other direction. Okay, engaging Autopilot. No, let's not do that at 90, let's try 60. <laughs> and I'm ready to take over if necessary, but not touching the wheel. A nice day, nice scenery today. Fall foliage. So this one's a little tricky here. It goes up a hill. Wow, handled it quite well today. Staying in the lanes well, lines well. Let's, uh, let's see how it does on this sharp curve here. Uh, it's pretty far on the outside, but it's kind of sticking to the lines a little bit. I prefer it a lot more over to the right. It's slowing right down to 43, but it's handling the curves quite well. Here's a tricky one. Whoa, way over the line there. That's a tricky one for autopilot. And just handling that one all right. So not too bad, just those two tricky spots heading this direction. 
All right, so that's uh, pretty successful. Let's uh, head on over to the snake and give that a shot. The second autopilot test route is called the snake. It's currently beyond the capabilities of Tesla's autopilot system with no center or shoulder lines, a hairpin turn, and steep incline. But we'll continue to test autopilot here until it's able to successfully navigate this very difficult route. Let's give it a test with autopilot and software version 8.1, then come back to it with version 9. All right, so let's try our first attempt at the snake with the latest version of 8.1. Okay, autopilot's engaged. Let's see how far it can make it on the snake without freaking out at me. I think I'd prefer to set it to 50 here. It's taking the first turn a little fast and way over. No, I gotta take over. Cannot do the snake with version 8.1. I didn't think it could. It's not really designed for this type of road with no lines. And now that there's no lines, it won't let me reactivate it. But we'll give you an overview of what we have to deal with here with the snake. Really tight hairpin turn, really rough road. Have the suspension automatically raise here, as you may have seen on the screen, because it's so rough, full of potholes. Ugh, really, really bad road. But if pilot, autopilot can handle this, I think it can handle pretty much anything. All right, let's turn around up here and give it a shot in the other direction. Okay, engaging autopilot here. Let's just set it to 50. And again, of course, I'd be normally holding onto the wheel, but this, just to show you, whoa, whoa, already, it's freaking out. Okay, <laughs> didn't like that turn. And if it didn't like that turn, it definitely won't like this turn. But check out that view. Beautiful view over the town of Milton, Ontario. And take it real slow here. Lots of potholes. But thank goodness for that air suspension. Fun thing about going down the hill is I actually have to accelerate, keep my foot on the accelerator to go at 40 kilometers down this really steep grade and getting some free juice in the process. All right, well that gives you an overview of the snake. We'll be testing that with version 9.1 zero coming up soon and see if it makes it any further all right so we're going to take our first test on the gauntlet with version 9 let's activate autopilot and one difference i can tell already let me drop it down to 60 is uh, you can see cars much farther up ahead on the display let's see how it handles these corners Got my hands at the ready to take over if necessary. Hopefully I won't need to. It's keeping it in the lane quite nicely. A little too far to the right, but still okay. See how it makes the first turn. Slowing down a bit, 45 kilometers. Tricky situation for the camera there with the sun blinding you over by the trees there. A little too far to the left for my liking. And we got some traffic. Let's see if it'll slow down for that. Yes, it will. I'm guessing there's a bicycle up ahead. Let's see what happens with the bicycle. Let's see if it shows up as a bike. Should be able to pick that up. It's slowing right down. Let's see, I think I saw a little bike in there and maybe I better take over. Oh, no, I haven't touched anything yet. It's staying behind the bike. 
And it shows up, there it is, bicycle, that's pretty cool. So it's just gonna stay behind the biker, I guess. Of course, I'm ready to take over at any moment here. And it's probably not too safe to pass here, so I'll wait and then I'll just take over so I don't slow up traffic too much. Let me just overtake here. Well, that was pretty cool. Let's turn around and try it the other way. Okay, engaging autopilot. Let's set to 70. Let's see if that... Uh, makes any difference. It'll probably slow down lower than that anyway, but... Okay, tricky bit of shade here, changing in the brightness. It's handling, handling it okay. So it's dropped it down to 60 by itself. It's up around the hill here, looking good. Now this is where the old version had some trouble staying in the line. Let's see what happens this time around. No, oh, it's worried about these cars. This guy's kind of over the line. Oh, it's staying in there pretty good. Much better than before. It's slowing down quite a bit, down to 42. Oh, now it's over the line a bit here. But it handled that last corner a lot better. And in this corner, it's kind of going over, too. So some corners a bit better, some maybe a little bit worse. Let's give it another try on the way back. Now, this corner was a problem last time, and it's way over again. So not much improvement there. And it's kind of close to the line there, but hopefully it stayed in. All right, well, that's the uh, test of the gauntlet with version 9. Some differences, some improvements, some about the same. And a uh, couple of corners, not quite as good at delaying keeping. So let's head on over to the snake and see how it handles that. Okay, we've got autopilot engaged. Heading down the snake for the first time with autopilot 9. Yeah, let's just keep it to 50. See if it gets over the first hill. And it did it. Wow. And it's going a little fast, a little way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not pull into the left lane there. All right, so there's still some work to be done, obviously. But I expect it as much. It's not really ready for this type of road. This poor guy trying to bike up here. Well, it got a bit farther. It didn't uh, freak out on that first hill, in that first corner. It was about to go around, but it cut it way too close on the left on that blind turn, so. Let's try heading back up and see how it goes on the upward route. There we go. Set it to 50. Let's see how far it makes it. Uphill on the snake with software version 9. Hopefully it's not too busy. Uh, it's go going around the first turn there. Oh, no, now it's, now it's giving me trouble, but the same spot. Nothing too new here. It won't let me engage it here. Understandably so, there's no lines. It sees a little bit of the road. Normally it wouldn't show any lines at all. So it's like it can see the route. Actually, it's letting me engage it right here, but it's gonna drive me <laughs> right off the edge of the road. But there's no way the old software would have let me engage it in this kind of road. So that's something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it was gonna make that turn. 
Okay, so now we're on the highway. Let's get over here. Auto lane change, just like before. But now we can see this truck coming up behind us and passing by. It's a little wobbly on the display, but pretty good. And you can see the two transport trucks in the distance there. And I can see that car in my blind spot. Pretty good. Another car there. It seems to slow down and kind of keep the vehicle in your in your display there a little longer than it actually is so you can see the car coming from more of a distance I think it's pretty cool how it renders the transport truck SUVs and cars here's a sedan coming up behind us shown as a sedan another sedan there and it still shows the transport truck kind of bouncing around there but still keeping it in the display Lane change is nice and smooth like before, maybe a little slower than before. But perhaps in the updated software we'll get the Mad Max mode and we'll get faster lane changes. Okay, so here's somebody coming up in my blind spot. I'll put on the signal. And yes, now we get the lane red lines there and waits for the car to go by and then makes its turn. Pretty cool. Okay, so someone's in my blind spot. I put on the signal to do a lane change. And I get the red lines. Wait for them to go by. And is it gonna cut in front of this truck? Maybe, oh, no, I see now. It sees the truck coming. And now it's, now it's waiting <laughs> and then I turned it off. Okay, so you could kind of see somebody coming and then decided not, it's not gonna make the lane change yet. But then the truck slowed down and then it was going to make the lane change until I cancelled it there. And you can see it's actually showing three lanes, two to the side, which it never showed before. It used to only show one on either side at most, but it doesn't show the traffic in that other lane. It just shows you that it's aware that those lanes exist, I guess, because we don't see this car over there. We see the truck and the car in front, but not this guy. Oh, here's a motorcycle. And yeah, let's see if we can catch up to that. Yeah, there he is. I can see him on the display there. Let's get over behind him. Come on. Oh, it's waiting for this guy behind me to, to come by. Okay. It's quite, uh, it's quite timid. And now it's going. And it shows the, the motorcycle way up there, just a tiny little little line on the display that's pretty cool so we got a truck a car a motorcycle let's go around the motorcycle there he goes All right, so this overpass always gave me a little bit of phantom braking as I approached it. Let's see what happens. It's the tiniest little bit of braking there, but hardly noticeable. I don't think anybody would really have an issue with that. It's not exactly slamming the brakes on. Okay, so now we're in the HOV lane and you can see it's cut off access to those other two lanes. It's only showing the one lane here. But I wonder if it'll show the... Okay, so now it's opened up again. And we do see somebody in the blind spot there. Okay, so it's still showing vehicles in the right lane, but it doesn't give us access to it because it's a solid line. So I'm in the lane and it's only showing one lane to the right now. Let's see what happens when it opens up to dotted lines. Do we get two? Yeah, we get three actually. But I think it's only showing the traffic in one lane to the side, yeah. 
That's pretty cool that it shows all three lanes, though. All right, let's turn on the signal and see what happens here. It's slowing down, and it's giving itself some space. Yeah, to make the lane change. Pretty good. I think I'm putting my signal on here. Is it going to wait? Nope. Even if I stepped on the gas, it still hesitated. Now it's going slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, I would prefer a little more aggressive lane changes. It just waits too long, and then the, uh, the spot's gone. Okay, this lane is narrowing, so let's see what autopilot does. This will be interesting. And what is it doing? What is it doing? It's... Uh, it's... Whoa, now it's driving me in the shoulder. Okay. So it's not ready for that sort of situation, obviously. It looked like for a second there it's going to pull over without a signal. But, uh, yeah, not ready for their uh, ending lanes yet. Seems to be handling the stop and go traffic pretty well so far. Let's see what happens when we stop and then start up again. The old system would start to steer wildly to the left and right at really low speeds just to try and get a better view of the lanes, I'm guessing. Now this truck's coming right into our lane with no signal. That's nice. It shows it on the screen pretty well that it's over the line. Oh, I see somebody's off to the side. Maybe I'll give that truck a bit more room here. There's weird edge cases like that where you know, you can see somebody coming, you want to give them room. It's going to be pretty tough to program that sort of stuff in, I imagine. Okay, I'm going to have to get over. Let's see what autopilot would do here. Is it going to... No, it's too, it's too hesitant. Is this guy letting me go? It is not ready for this kind of traffic. Okay, car saw that coming, slowed down. Okay, we got a split here. Yeah, it's staying in the proper lane. Good job. Okay, now we got a, almost, we got really slow cars up here, but it's slowing down nice and gracefully. that situation pretty well. Let's see if I put my signal on here. Is it going to let me get in there? It's going, this guy's not letting me in. Okay. Let's see if this guy lets me in. Yeah, I'm going to force it because it's just, it's not, it's not uh, confident enough to make those tight uh, lane changes in those tight spots. be really interesting to see how it handles that kind of situation with the new aggressive and Mad Max modes for lane changes. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so we've got a bit of space here. Let's see what the car does. Okay, slams on the brake, jerks the wheel, and waits and waits and waits and waits and waits. And yeah, way too long. Now, even with a pretty good space, it's just not aggressive enough. Let's try again. Okay, now it's going. Well, now it's... <laughs> okay, I'm, people are going to think I'm a crazy person. It's got a bit of work to do still in that sort of situation. Okay, here we go. Alright, now we can try the stop and go. Come to a complete stop. Let's see if it starts up again without swerving all over the place. Did a pretty good job there. Let's 
And now we're gonna fill the gap. Yeah, it seems to be a lot better at uh, stop and go traffic. Yeah, no more swerving around, trying to find the lines. It's holding the lane quite nicely in stop and go traffic. Okay, so we're coming up to a roundabout and let's see what happens here. I assume that it's gonna just freak out, so I'm getting ready to take over. Whoa, a little fast. Jeez, it just about ran me right into the curb there. So yeah, not too successful there, and a little fast. But I'm surprised that Autopilot didn't uh, give me the takeover sign there. Let's try the next one. Okay, so we're coming up to the roundabout here. I set it down to 60 just to be a little safer. Hopefully we've got a clear intersection. Looks like we do. All right, let's see what happens here. It's turning, it's turning, it's cutting across, and oh, okay, now this car is coming, we better not. It was trying really hard to stick with those lines there. It's pulling pretty good, but yeah, it just doesn't know how to detect it yet. Let's see what happens here. And it's gonna go right through. Okay, now it doesn't know what to do. Yeah, I didn't think it would know, but. So I guess those are some of the edge cases they're still trying to work out how to deal with. So there you have Autopilot and software version 8.1 versus version 9. Be sure to come back soon for our ongoing review and testing of Autopilot as new versions become available. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you found these videos useful in your decision to purchase any new Tesla, now including any Model 3, you can use my referral code here to get yourself six months of free supercharging. Also, with a few referrals, I'll be able to get early access to the software so I can update you on the latest features and updates before it's released to the public. If this is your first time here, I hope you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest updates and self-driving tech from Tesla. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see here in the future, or maybe you want to see some different camera angles, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on Evolution Tesla.